When modeling water distribution systems, it's important to have reliable surge protection systems in place before the occurrence of uncontrolled emergency conditions. These surge protection systems can be grouped into three categories, system improvement approach, flow supplement approach, and surge relief approach. These three approaches are drastically different regarding required pumping, physical appearance, hydraulic characteristics, long-term reliability, complexity and flexibility of operation, and cost of construction, operation, and maintenance. However, at the core, these three categories all seek to accomplish the same task, to protect the system from water hammer by reducing the rate of change of flow to minimize transient effects. The system improvement approach seeks to improve profiles, enlarge pipe sizes, reduce flows, and realign pipeline routes as its surge control measure. This method is very reliable, however, also very costly. The flow supplement approach applies control measures such as surge tanks, air chambers, and increasing pipe inertia. While not as reliable as the system improvement approach, it is less costly. Finally, the surge relief approach helps with surge protection using control valves and rupture discs. This method is the cheapest from a cost perspective, however, it's less reliable than the other two methods. Regardless of method, having surge protection systems in place can help prevent catastrophic damage to systems. Water distribution modelers should always consider transients when designing systems.